Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to demonstrate why um, TTL is not always your friend, especially when you have strobes here that you're attempting to fire optically. Um, TTL can cause an issue because when your camera triggers a wireless strobe um, and it's using TTL, it fires off what's called a pre-flash. So it basically blasts the light a millisecond before the shutter opens to meter the scene. But while it's doing that, it triggers optically the other two strobes, and then the main, then the sensor opens up, the main flash fires, and the other, the optically tri triggered strobes haven't recycled in time to fire again. So it basically doesn't work at all. Uh, and Unfortunately, on my Sony, I can't disable TTL at all, for some reason. So, let me see if I can give you a demonstration of this. I'm going to optically trigger, or using the wireless mode on my flash, I'm going to trigger this guy, my speed light. And what I would want to happen is, it, at the same time, optically trigger my new strobes. So, let's see what this actually does right now. Okay, so now that you saw, it was difficult to see even in slow motion, but you saw the first one fired it triggered the other ones and then the main, the uh, speed light fired. So in order to compensate for this, you need to switch over to a radio trigger, which doesn't allow TTL, so no pre-flash will fire. And I've just attached these um, cowboy also strobes that can radio transmit fire, but because they're radio, it'll instantly trigger this one with no pre-flash, and that'll instantly also tri tri optically trigger our other flashes. So then we're good to go. All right. Well, hope this helps someone. Bye.